Today is Children's Day and our news bulletin will feature our children reporters home and abroad, nationally and internationally, to give us the latest across the length and breadth of the globe. We we'll kick off by joining Meto Momo, Moma, to get the latest on Imo State. The task force allocated in Imo State in the fight against COVID-19 on Monday, May 18th, has now declared the state coronavirus free. Prior to this announcement, the state has identified seven active cases of the virus. In a briefing with journalists in Oweri, chairman of the committee, Professor Morris Iwu explained that the three out of the cases recovered in the state were discharged on Sunday, May 17th, as a result of them meeting recovery standards. Professor Iwu was appointed by Governor Hope Ozodima to use his experience to help Imo State tackle the viral disease. In other news, Imo State Governor Hope Ozodima has signed a bill which appeals the law creating pension allowances and gratitude ways for former governors, deputy governors, assembly gov speakers, and deputy speakers. The bill was signed into law on Friday. As the governor pointed out, that the law goes against the amended 1999 constitution, which stipulates that an individual must have worked for at least 10 years and must be up to 45 years of age to receive their pension. He stated, apart from this inconsistency of such a law, the provisions of the ground norm, which is the constitution of 1999 as amended. This has led for a very long time precedence that does not encourage diligence and prudence in service delivery. That's all we've got. I'm Meta Muma reporting on Emo State for the Plus TV African Children's Day Special News Edition. Have a good day. Certainly a budding broadcast journalist will have more of the kids join us on the news.